Welcome to the Word of Victory broadcast with your host here, Pastor Joel Wallace. Amen. The Bishop of Abundant Faith Cathedral and founder. We just thank God for you, you and you this morning. Well, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray now, Lord, that you will bless us as we go into your word. Help us, Lord, we pray in Jesus name to be everything that you would have us to be. Speak to your radio and television audiences right now. We thank you for everything that you are doing for us. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for it now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, we just thank God for you, you, and even you uh, tuning in today. And on this broadcast, amen, what a day. It's a wonderful day. Yes, I heard uh, somebody say it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful name and be my neighbor. Would you be my neighbor? <laughs> All right. Well, we just thank the Lord. Amen. On today, we want to talk today on the Word of Victory broadcast about um, how to sow a seed to the Lord. And what does it mean? You know, you hear people say that um, I'm going to sow a seed. Uh, I'm going to give to the Lord. What does that mean? I want to try to put some. I may today. I want to try to put some. A clarity on uh, what is a seed? What what do you mean? Um, how do you sow a seed? What 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 is it? You know, let's start off with one scripture, Genesis uh, one and twenty eight. It talks about in creation in one and twenty eight, uh, and dealing with uh, what the Lord have said about being seed being multiplied and replenishing the earth. Yeah, but I want you to see this. Because it said be fruitful and multiply. And it talks about replenish the earth, Genesis 1 and 28. Well, that's when Adam and Eve were made, uh, were created, I should say. And um, then uh, the same blessing came on Noah. Yeah, the Noah in the book of Genesis 9 and 7. The Lord had told Noah uh, to bring forth abundant, abundantly in the earth and multiply Therein, and that was Genesis 9 and 7. Then God gave him the keys of life and about how uh, the abundance of multiplication is going to be. What he did was he had man's life tied to the principle of the seed, the principle of the seed. He says why in Genesis 8 and 22. He said this, while the earth remaineth, there will be seed time and harvest. That's important for you to know, because when you look at what God's word is saying and what it's doing, um, the, 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 the seed, the principle of the seed, the principle of what seed time and harvest is, it, everybody is touched by that in life because that's what's happened with how the system of God operates here on the earth. See, when you look at what, how it does, when you look at what it does, when you look at how it's made, amen, that's God's system. And so God's system, when you look at it, it ties you to what God has already said. I don't want to confuse you. I want you to understand, amen, that the seed, the principle of the seed is so important. Well, let's go and see what Jesus says. When Jesus talked about the sower. And he talked about what it took. One thing that you can see is when he talked about uh, people and their seed, the principle of the sower, how does the sower sow seed? Yep. And then what happens? Because as we look at all of the things that's transpired, I want you to know, amen, that when you look at how we give you know, when we look at what we should do, when we look at what God has already placed out, seed time and harvest is real. 
I learned a long time ago that seed time and harvest is a part of your life. Here on the Word of Victory broadcast, I want to know if you're having financial problems. Do you feel like that um, there's more that you could have? Do you feel like you're bringing up the rear instead of being in the front? Do you feel like um, there's got to be something better? And, and there is. There is a system already set up by God. There's a system that God has set up. Seed time and harvest, Genesis uh, 22, 8 and 22. As long as the earth remain, there will be seed time and harvest. And every seed will reproduce after its own kind. So when you look at the, the word of God, it's as a seed. When you look at finances, it's as a seed. And it says that every seed is within itself. Every fruit and the seed is within itself. Well, you might be a person that you might not do anything. You might feel like, you know, I don't really need to plan anything. I'm good. Well, that's okay. And if you're like that, amen, one of the things I can tell you is this. A lot of times you're going to come up short because seed time and harvest is real. Yep. So when, when you look back and, and ask what happened to the, the, happened to the uh, Noah, amen, after the flood, what do you think he said? Because everything, the earth was stripped of everything, and so now everything had to be started over. Why did he take the animals? Why did he take the seeds? And so he made a covenant. He made a covenant in Genesis in 8.22. There's a covenant that is called the Noahic covenant, amen, about seed time and harvest. Because it looked, what would you do? If you, everybody was destroyed, you the only one, you and your family, amen. And, and, and so what would you do? You'd have to, you'd have to start over, but you would have to know what to do. And seed time and harvest is real. Yeah. And when we look at our lives, sometimes our lives look like very, it, it looks hopeless for us. I know some people on the job. They have a job and they, and they feel like they're not making ends meet. And before, um, as they sit down and before the end of the day or end of the session that they're trying to figure out their bills, there's no money. Yep. But I want to tell you something. Things might look hopeless, but I'm telling you today because because I learned this. <laughs> uh, when I came over, I learned this, how to plant seed. I learned how to give. I learned how to invest. And then I found out what God would do. Let me just tell you my story. Because when I got saved, um, I had been stripped of everything. And, uh, and so I decided to come in, amen, struggling. Yes. Didn't know what to do, but I started learning the word of God and I started seeing it for myself. And as I saw what God was doing to others and I read about how God did things. So I learned that every, um, it doesn't matter how much money it was. I was going to plant seed. I was going to give a man off of that. And let me tell you, I learned that spreading seed was a way. And what do you mean? I'll explain. I learned how to seed into others. What did I do? Well, I went down to the market the, and the market on a Saturday because, you know, the, the farmer's market on Saturday when by the end of the day and I went down there and, they, you know, they didn't want to take stuff home. So they wanted to sell it and you got a discount and, you know, some good products, good fruit, good, good things. And so I would go down there and I would get the fruit. I would uh, pack it up in my trunk. And that was on a Saturday. So when I got to church on, on Sunday, um, I learned that the people, everybody liked fresh fruit. So they would come outside after service and they would just, I'd open my trunk and say, hey, come, it's free. And I'd give it away. And then I noticed something. I noticed that every week that I went down to the farmer's market, I could get more because it just, for some reason, and I couldn't explain it, but I had more money. And I could buy more things. And I said, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I see. So what did I do? 
I learned how to continue to give. I learned how to go down to the farmer's market and I learned how to, you know, gather it up. And then I, I picked out a family within the, the church and I picked out a family and I, I said, oh, families. And I said, well, here's what I'm going to do. Now that I have more, I'm going to plant more because I see, I've seen what was happening with my own eyes that I was giving, but yet I was getting back. Yet I had more. And so I decided to keep giving. So I had some families and I said, you know, um, I'm going to now go to the bread store during the week. And as I go to the bread store, what I'm going to do is I am going to, from the bread store, I am going to buy the bread on sale. And I want to bring all the bread back to the church on Sunday. I did that. Yeah. Now, remember, here, here I was, a guy that um, had gotten saved and didn't have much because I had got stripped of everything. Yeah. But this is so important. When you sow seed, when you give, it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Shall man give into your bosom. What happened at work? I started getting more overtime. What happened at work? They say, well, can you stay over? Oh, now that's making my money from work, working. Can you come in on these days? Should have been off days. They said, can you come in? I said, well, sure. I started coming in on my off days. I started working over. Wow. Yes. And because of that, I saw what God was doing. Because when you look at Matthew 13 and 8, um, it talks about when you look at what, what God has done, the increase to produce a great harvest, the increase that your harvest is great. Because say some 30, 60, and some 100-fold return on your seed. Isn't it ironic that when you look at a seed, um, a natural fruit seed that you can see, like say corn. You take one kernel of corn and you put it in the ground, it becomes one stalk. One stalk with maybe seven or eight ears. See, when you, you, you always remember that you always, your harvest is going to be greater than your seed. And so now you have seven or eight ears of corn, or five, six, whatever. But then on one ear of corn is 200 kernels. Think about it. Wow. And that's how it operates. Seed time and harvest is real. So I got overtime. I started doing more. And then I found myself where I was able to even do more than that. Oh, I continued to go down to the fruit market. I continued to get the bread. And then I added milk on, on that, gallons of milk. I'd catch the milk on sale and I'd go get gallons and gallons and gallons of milk and I would give that away right along with the fruit. So here and now, starting off with maybe a few items, now I'm giving trunk loads of fruit and vegetables and bread and milk. Wow. Somebody say, you should open the store. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to open the store, but I can tell you one thing. I've learned what seed time and harvest to do for you. And it helped me that then I became the lender, not the borrower. Wait a minute. Yeah, can I tell you, um, I was driving a hoopty. Some people know what that is. And, you know, it, it was a car. Hey, Amen. Here's the funny part. Uh, the car was, and when I got out the car, you opened the door and it fell down. I, it, it like a Fred Flintstone, Flintstone mobile. When I got out the car, I picked the door up and closed it. <laughs> and people laughed. Oh, did they have fun with me? Boy, they laughed at that car. But you know what? I say, well, that's okay. I'm sowing and I'm going to see a great harvest. What about you? <laughs> what you going to do? Amen. There's no sense in not allowing the God, the God that we serve to help you. Yeah, because listen, this is what happened. Luke 6 and 38. It said, give and it shall be given unto you good measure. 
What does that mean? That means you give. Amen. You give. You give. And when you give, amen, uh, if watch it. The measure is going to be measured back to you. If you give good, good is coming. If you give bad, oh my goodness, it's coming back. We don't want bad, do we? No. It said be measured back to you. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do? It's good measure. It's pressed down. It's shaking together and it's running over. Well, we have to do what's good. We want to do what's good. We want to make sure that what we give is what uh, uh, our return is good. We want to make sure our harvest is good. So we want to do good things. When you look at your heart and you see the need and you try to meet it, I would say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Amen. When you try to help families that need help, I would say that's a good thing, right? Sure. So you sow your seed and, and then you realize that uh, your harvest is coming and man, oh man, oh man, when that harvest comes, you can smile because you know you've sown seed by faith and realize that God is in this thing, what I gave. And so as I continue to give, one thing I learned, I learned that, okay, being a blessing, a financial blessing was necessary also. Because as I gave in my, remember what I said, my work increased, my days increased, and so I had more to give. And, and in that I learned um, how to listen to the Holy Spirit and how to give. What do you mean? Well, um, I can tell you one day I was um, at church and the Lord was speaking to me about somebody that was 45 minutes away. Pastor, 45 minutes away. And, and, and I, I heard a certain amount of money that this pastor needed. I become a minister then. And, and I heard the Lord say, I want you to take this amount of money to this pastor. And I'm like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. Is this real? Is this true? Really? Mm. And so I went to my pastor and I said, well, pastor, um, can I go up to uh, this pastor's church for the afternoon service? Uh, the Lord is dealing with me uh, about uh, something that there was a need. Can I do that? And I got permission to go. And so I went. And I told the, the pastor, I said, well, sir, um, I want to, um, during the offering, I, I want to present the church with something. And he knew me. He said, okay, it's fine. You can do that. So during the offering, he said, you want to make your presentation? I said, yes, sir. And I stood up and I said, well, the Lord had placed on my heart to bring this amount of money to you because the Lord says you have need of it. Now, see, that takes a lot of things. Listen, it takes a lot of fortitude, amen, to go into a situation like that because can I tell you something, you know, the atmosphere might not be friendly. <laughs> but the pastor was so generous and he was so loving and he got up after me. He says, I know this is God. Say, because I have something that I have to do tomorrow and we didn't have the money. And he brought, talk about me, the exact amount of finances to help us with what we need to do. Whoa, really? Now remember, here's a guy, a man that started out just going to get, uh, um, spending $20 on fruit, if it was that much. Amen, just buying. It wasn't much. Then as I continue to go back, amen, I started giving more. I started learning that seed time, giving, oh my God, giving, I seen what God was doing for. Whoa, yes. In the word of victory broadcast, I want you to know this, that God want to bless you. God want to do things for you. The concept of seed time and harvest is real. It is. And then God had got me to a place where because I was sowing on good ground. Now you have to be careful, glory to God, where you sow. I mean, you have to make sure it is God because sometimes you can, you know, you, it might be stony ground as the Bible says. What are you going to do? I learned to pray and ask God, amen, to help me, to lead me, amen. And, and do you know something? I've seen God do so many. 
great things because of seed time and harvest. I've learned that the Bible says you should be a lender, not to borrow. I understand that when you give to God, how God will protect. You give the 10, he says, I'm going to protect the 90. Well, some people don't believe in it, and that's okay. You can't, you can't convince me to do anything else. <laughs> Amen. Because Matthew 13 and 8 tells us, maybe 36, the on and fold. Amen. What are, you, what are you looking at? I'm looking at God's word as being real. I'm looking at believing God. Nobody can convince me otherwise because I've seen it happen in my own life. Remember, remember the story. I had been stripped and I was, listen, I didn't have all the resources, but as I gave, as I helped, amen, glory to God. I'm, I'm excited about this because God showed me here on the Word of Victory broadcast, I want to help you today. God is real. His Word is real. Lord, I'm telling you, and I know for a fact, what do you do? Just starting out, just a few little fruit, a few little vegetables. And I noticed, and it, and it went quick, that it was more vegetables. It was more fruit that I gave. Why? Because God was increasing me. Oh, yes, he was. God was giving it back to me. Oh, my God. And then I got to a place where I added to that. Can you say that today? I know this is real. And that's why I'm, I believe in being a giver. That's why I've done things uh, in foreign countries to help others. Because I'm looking to be a blessing. Amen. Glory. And not only there, here, United States. Yes, I've done. Yes. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've done things here to help other people. I know it's necessary. Yes, it is. And people are so, listen. People are so appreciative of what you do for them. Oh, come on, somebody. Glory to God. I thank God because I know what it means to be a blessing to somebody else. And I've heard people say, wow, you're a blessing. Amen. Well, because I've never, listen, I've always been where I am today. I can tell you honestly, seed time and harvest is real. Giving is real. Glory to God. Being a blessing is real. I want you to know if it's you, amen, and, and, and you want to, listen, you want to get to another level. You, you want not to suffer. You want not that your finances are, are so messed up that, you know, you can't make ends meet. I'm going to tell you something. You can sow it. You can sow a seed and watch for your harvest. That's the way the earth is brought at Genesis 822 as the earth remains and it's still here. There will always be seed time and harvest. That is a noadic covenant that God made with Noah. And I want you to know it's real and it works now. And I've, I've, I've had some people that have learned this and in the hard way and they've learned what they need to do. And now God has been blessing them tremendously that they haven't been suffering. Oh, but God has been blessing them. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, I've given you, I have more scriptures, amen, in dealing with seed time and harvest and how God will give back your harvest more than you gave because that's what it is. You take any seed, plant it in the ground, and I guarantee you, you see a harvest from that. And you know what? You're not going to get a little seed back. You're going to get fruit with the seed that's in it. And it's more than one seed, depending on what it is. But that one seed can be a blessing to you. So why don't you reach out today? Try God. Why don't you give? Glory to God. You can give. Uh, just go to our website at the end of the broadcast. It should show you how to, how to give. Maybe you want to be a tither. Maybe you want to partner yourself with us. Maybe you, have, you don't have anywhere to tie. Well, you can tie with us. Glory to God. It's good ground. I guarantee you, amen, that AFC is good ground. And you will see a return on your finances. Hallelujah. Amen. If you, you can give uh, several ways, and you'll see it. Gillify. You can give by Gillify. You can give uh, also by PayPal and also cash out. And you can send your checks, 
amen, to a P.O. box where it's safe, the glory to God, amen, because it is essential for you, amen, that you want to be better, you want to do more things. You know, and I didn't say this, but I learned that also I, I help other people with other things. Other things people might have needed, I've done it. I didn't say anything about it. Nobody knows but them and us, amen, because, um, you know, we, we want to be a blessing, but everything don't, does not have to be broadcast, and I'm not going to do that today. But I want you to know that if you will allow yourself to believe the word of God, then you'll see how to sow, and you'll understand what seed time is, and then you'll tell somebody else. I heard what, what Pastor Wallace said on the Word of Victory broadcast, and I sent in some seed money. And man, do you know that I received a harvest and it was larger than what I gave. Oh, I know it's true. Just like what the Lord did for me when I learned how to stretch out on him, how to stretch out, amen, launch in the deep as they say. And I took that pastor some money that they needed the next day. That was on a Sunday. Nobody but God. So I learned you obey God and you watch what God does. His laws is real. Amen. Glory to God. And if you again want to be a, a blessing to the ministry, you can sow. You can become a partner with us. Amen. And what we're doing right now, we're reaching out to uh, the continent of Africa. We have some people there in Ghana. We know people in Liberia. We know others. Amen. In different parts of um, West Africa, and we want to do some things for them to help them. We've already uh, built some places for them to worship, and we're looking to do more. Amen. Glory to God. We've done things in the Philippines. Amen. Yes. So it's 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 really essential that you understand the Word of God. It's essential that you do what God's Word says. You don't have to continue to bring up the rear. It's time for you to come forward. Amen. Glory to God. You know what? Because I care for you. Because I love you. Amen. And so I want to tell you the truth. God's word is real. Nobody can tell me anything different. And I want you to know you want to change in your life. Well, the thing that you need to do, amen, is be obedient to the word of God. Be obedient to God's word. Sowing seed is right. Being a sower is right. How are you going to Get a harvest if you never sow a seed. I've learned it. Amen. And so um, on our on our 10 acre, 10 acre land, uh, when uh, beans are growing or corn is growing on our 10 acres, amen, I can look back and just say, wow, look at this seed time and harvest. It's wonderful to see how God has set up the financial system. Amen. Glory to God. Nobody can beat the bank of God. Hello. Come on now. I just want you to know, yes, that is real. And if you never sow the seed, it's time. It's time you to step out. It's time to allow God to do the things that he want to do for you. I'm convinced because I've seen him do it. What about you? Well, listen, we just thank God for you, you, and even you tuning into the Word of Victory broadcast today with sowing a seed, with learning how to give so God can give it back to you. Oh, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. It's your man given to your bosom. You need to know the word of God is real. Step out by faith, glory to God, and watch and see what God will do. I'm a witness. I know because I've done it. I want to pray for you right now. Father, bless them that want to give. Bless them that want to be partners with us. Bless them, Lord. Allow them to give. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you can send it in. Amen. Like I said, you can send it to the post office box or you can send it into the different ways. Amen. That we have, you'll see it in the scrolling. Remember, we love you, but God love you first. Walk by faith, not by sight because of the miracle. Mm -hmm.